everybody, this is Jerry Dean from Missing Persons of America. I read across this case that is starting to get a lot of notice on social media and I wanted to tell you about it. It's 11 year old boy that's missing out of Colorado Springs. So we're gonna go with that case next. See you in a second. case of Gannon Stotch. He's 11 years old and he's missing from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Now Gannon was last seen on January 27th between 315 and 330. He was at home on Mandan Drive in Colorado Springs with his stepmom who goes by T and he went to her and asked her, can I go to my friend's house? And she said, yeah, it's something he, he's done in the past. And he left. Well, a couple hours later, T started to get worried because he had not returned and it was unlike him. He usually comes back within an hour. So she started worrying and I guess she must have called Al because Al was in at getting military training. So he was not in town. And she spoke with him and he did an interview with News 5, let me find it for you. And he said there that, he said that Gannon was not really the type to just walk off, told my wife he was going to play and then haven't seen him since. Now, Al also said that 30 minutes after the streetlights came on, which is a signal for Gannon to be home, he began texting all his friends. Al began texting all his friends uh, to see if they had seen him and no one had seen him. So now then the police get involved. Now there's no information about what friend's house Gannon went to. There's no information about anybody coming forward and said, yes, he was over at my house. I haven't heard anything. And then he left. So we don't even know if he even got to the friend's house or not. We don't even know if that was his true destination or if excuse, I don't know. But the El Paso County Sheriff Office posted up on their Facebook page on January 28th and they set, called Gannon a runaway. They say, update, can you help us find this runaway? So already right from the beginning, they don't think that he was abducted or anything foul play or anything that he just took off on his own. Now where they get this information or why they came to this conclusion, I don't know. They, they haven't shared that information. So that is kind of concerning to me because once you put that out there, a lot of times it's not seen as urgent, even though this is a young man and the weather is, pretty cold out there. So there was a video that came that the police found and Gannon's mother, she lives in South Carolina and she shares custody of Gannon with her, with the father, Al. So she went over to look at this video and it was showing Gannon at the come and go market on Mesa Ridge Parkway. And, but according to Gannon's mom, that was not him in the video. So he was not over in that area. And there's been some talk about a white car and no confirmation there. In fact, there's been a lot of social media posts and rumors out there. And it was kind of difficult to try to figure out what was facts and what was posts and you know, trying to figure out, you know, the whole thing. So I'm going to share some of that with you and go over it with you. So we know Gan left his phone at home and then a post popped up and said that he had done a search on his phone that said, can my parents track me if my phone is off? Now I tried to track that back and I went back to the original poster and tried to find out, you know, is this from the police? Is this from the mother? Is this from an aunt? Is something where did this come from? And all they would say is that the rumor had been, well, not even rumor, but that had it had been confirmed. Well, 
it hasn't come out from the police. It may come out later. I don't know because a lot of times social media is ahead of the police and they do find out things and they bring it out to the public before the police want to do that. But I haven't heard anything from the police about this and I don't know. So we'll just leave it as that is. And then the neighbors were posting on social media about the vehicle, the major crimes unit vehicle that was out there and speculating what it was doing there. And they were worried that that meant bad news. But according to the El Paso County Sheriff's Office spokeswoman, the Sergeant Minot, she said that because Gannon was so young and that there's some risk of him being out there and becoming a victim, that they wanted to bring the unit in and also the unit could focus on the case better. And especially with the weather, it worries the police that he's out there on his lo alone and, and it's cold. So that was what that was about. Although there's still speculations that they're, they're still over there and they're bringing ladders in and going through a garage. People that live in the neighborhood are posting on social media. There's a lot of activity over there with this. And then I guess uh, just recently, maybe it was yesterday or this morning there that's gone that truck is gone and then there's just a mild police force over there now and it's pretty quiet now they social media is wondering if there was any cameras on the house uh specifically ring cameras because i guess this community does have ring cameras on all, all the houses and whether they have one on that house is unknown now people said they've drove by the house and they did seek a ring camera on the door but you know we don't know for sure if they are the point is they could take that video from the ring camera and they could see where Gannon went left the house which direction he went but the police haven't come forward with that they haven't said if there's any video I mean video has been released in the past that's been taken from these cameras on these cases just recently one happened and they could were able to see where the child went what direction they went to but nothing's come out on that so that doesn't if it hasn't come out doesn't mean it's not there it's just that the police haven't released anything but there's a lot of speculation that there was a video camera on there or not also social media was talking about the hiking trip now T. Gannon and his little sister went on a hiking trip Sunday, the Sunday before he went missing. And they took pictures and they were at the Garden of the Gods and they took a picture and there's speculation that that picture is an old picture and that's just a cover up and that the mom really wasn't there that day or if she was there that day, that they left Gannon behind and something happened. But I read on social media that the man who was in the background of the picture, and incidentally, you can see a lot of this stuff on Missing Persons of America. And you can see pictures up here, but you also can see them on, and, and look at them yourself on the blog. And he was saying that he was the guy in the in the jacket, in the video, in the behind the picture. And yes, he did see him there, and yes, it was on that Sunday. Now, whether that's uh actually him talking or not we don't know at this point the police haven't come out and said anything about it but i'm also thinking about again a sister it would be very easy for the police to go talk to her and say hey did your brother say anything about leaving did your brother say anything about uh this did he was he on a hike with you on sunday did he return with you on sunday it's very easy to to, to ask her. So that's a really easy thing to follow up on. So I don't think that there's anything with that picture. I think it's one that she took when she was there and of, of them hiking. And there has been a search, about 200 volunteers have searched, have shown up to search. And there's a real interesting drone video, John Bradley Wilson, he put it up. And you can see the whole area and you can see all the houses in one area and then um, a street and then a lot of plain area with no bushes or trees. Um, not it, You could see for quite a while from that part and then over in the area where there's bushes. So he's gone through that whole area. You can see a little bit of it now. But if you want to see the whole video, you can go with to youtube and look it up or you can go over to missy persons of america and i have the video posted on there too 
And evidently the news channels were also asking John if they could use that video and he said yes. And I think that about covers it all. Now, Gannon, he's four feet nine, uh, 90 pounds, brown hair, brown eyes, and he was wearing a blue jacket. I, if he's out there, he might've tried to take refuge someplace. He might have gone into an abandoned building. I don't know if he'd be at another friend's house and it has him and he's still there because he would have to have gone to school. They, you know, I would think that whoever, if he was at somebody's house and a friend's house and they would have to go to school and he would have to go to school. So I don't think that's the case at all, but maybe he's at an abandoned property somewhere, but there, I don't know why he would be running away. If, like the police said, he ran away, but why? Why would he take off? I mean, was there a big argument? What Was his, was our poor car coming out? I mean, for an 11-year-old, that doesn't seem to be a big issue, report cards, grades, things like that. It's not until later on when they get older that they become really concerned with that. So uh, all the speculations of where he might have gone, I, for an 11-year-old, I just can't think of everything he he does and is at home right i mean the video games he posted a little post on youtube uh last year of him playing a video game with his friend i mean that's what he said he's a normal 11 year old kid and they love doing that so why would he go out and leave all that behind i mean kids at that age they're doing everything they can to, to get their, their chores done and their schoolwork done and all that so they can go play video games they love it so for him to leave all that behind is kind of strange and so i don't know so if you see him or after you watch this and you think man i think i saw that kid at such and such a place you know call 911 or if you're not sure or you don't want to do that you can call the the tip line it's 715-520-6666-719-520-6666 give them a call let them know what you know and hopefully we can find this young man before anything happens and get to the bottom of what's going on i hope that he is found. I don't even have to put this video up because he will be found by the time I get this thing done. Uh, and if he is, I will do a breaking news story. I can go live now. I've got a thousand uh, subscribers. So I'll be able to go live and I'll be able to tell you immediately if he's found. There'll be no delay. Like I usually have to have a couple hours delay to get my videos up. But with the live, I can tell you right away that he's been found. Alrighty, so that's it, and thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys, and don't forget to subscribe. Alright, bye-bye.